Hey, how's going? Today I'll show you how to block the annoying ads that you can see while using third-party applications on your Fire Stick. By following the steps I show you, you'll be able to block the majority of pop-up as well as banner ads that you see on the Fire Stick. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to set up the ad blocker on your Fire Stick. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from your official Amazon App Store. So we go to search on your device and here in the search bar start typing the loader. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So in order to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings. So we click on that button with the gear icon then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it, and here you need to enable the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. You just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here you have to locate the loader, and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there is one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Poland right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for an RDPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device and open the loader, which is right here. Wait until the app loads for you, and then on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on home. And here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a link, which is going to be blockada.org. So let's enter it together. Once again, it's blockhada.org. So here is a link, you can see it on your screen right now. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the link is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go. And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has opened, we just need to click on that download button right here. Then press on Android. 
scroll down and click on the Blockada 5 APK. That's what we're looking for. Now the download has started, usually it does take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then you have to click on install and wait for the app to get installed. Then don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on done, then delete and delete. This way we save you some free space on your fire stick, and that's really important, because you don't really have too much of free space on your fire stick anyway. Now finally let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it, scroll down, and here is the blockada, which we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way blockada is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Then finally let's open the app. And basically what you have to do is click on that activate button in the middle, click on continue, click OK. And now it says that Blockada is active, so we gotta click on continue once again. And from this moment, the ad blocking has become active on your device. It's going to block quite a lot of pop-up ads as well as banners, which you can see when using third-party applications, or if you're using a web browser on your Forest stick. At the bottom of the app, you can see a menu, you could go to advanced settings, and here you can set block lists for your applications, as well as exceptions or applications that should never be blocked, and even adjust settings for different Wi-Fi networks. And that here on that main menu, after some time of using, you'll see how many ads and trackers were blocked by Blockada. So that's it for today, today you learned how to get an ad blocker for a Forest stick. hope the video was helpful and see you next time, bye bye.